What is going on YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Lee Vlogs. Kind of tired right now. We've been walking around a little bit, but we are heading to the Imperial Palace. It is our final day in Tokyo here. I should bring it. So yeah, we're going to the Imperial Palace. We're going to Tsu. How do you say it? It's a key. It's a key. It's a market. Basically, there we go. It's like the fish market, pretty much the real like cultural area. Hopefully, we can go over there and try some well. Asia, you gonna try the well, right, baby? She's gonna try that shit. But right now, we are approaching the Imperial Palace somewhere. Oh damn! Beautiful already. <laughs> but we gotta find where the emperor lives. This man is feeding pigeons. It's kind of disgusting. Wow, I see it. You see it in? Oh damn. It's so a bridge up there. Let's see how deep we can get in. <laughs> All right, crossing the street now. Closing in on the Imperial Palace. Hopefully we can get a good view of everything. Lots of tourists here. All right, let's see what we're seeing here. This is, I believe that, that might be the back of his house, honestly, right there. I think that's what people are doing, taking pictures. We should take a picture. We should get somebody to take a picture. So, I'm not entirely sure, but this is the emperor's house. of the Imperial Palace. It's probably a bunch of like touristy stuff, souvenir shops maybe. That's what I'm guessing, but we'll see. So I guess this is just another entrance, but uh, this one's a lot cooler I think, because look at these doors, <laughs> they're so huge. I don't know if they're like ancient or anything like that, but they are big. It's amazing. Do a quick size comparison. So I'll set you guys right here. And I'll go back this way. So that's gonna be our tour of the Imperial Palace. Glad you guys got to see it with us. Now we're gonna head to the fish market. All right, so we just got off the train and we're looking for exit four. Then we got about a little less than a mile walk to the fish market. And then from there, we get to try some exciting exotic shit. Hi, 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 hi. We made a quick stop at Lawson's. I'm gonna grab a coffee just to warm up, wake up a little bit for you guys. Uh, Asia's back there somewhere getting money from the ATM, but then we'll continue our journey to the fish market. It's Kinji, babe. It's Kinji. Hi. That's where we're at right now. <laughs> say it, Leon. Nope. Can't say it. You can say it, baby. Skiji. What, what is this place? I don't know. This is definitely photo op material right here. Ooh, that's pretty. You want a photo op? Okay. I found under the stairs. Okay. Daja Boo? Yeah. All right, so evidently the place that we just found is a Buddhist temple, as you can see. And it's really fucking pretty, beautiful, dope. Architecture is amazing. It's on level 1000. This is me right here with a coffee in front of a Buddhist temple in Tokyo. <laughs> All right, we got a little sidetracked with a photo op in front of this Buddhist temple. But, back on track to the fish market. All right, so right next to the fish market is where all the good sushi spots are at. All kinds of sushi here.
I could definitely go for some salmon sashimi. Oh, I would probably just get that. All right, so bad news, guys. Looks like the only place that has well here um, is currently closed right now. We came a little late. Um, usually, you want to get to the fish market area kind of early in the morning. Everything sells out probably pretty quick, and people don't want to stick around all day. So, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get some sashimi. Damn. Guys, a quick uh, sashimi snack. Just got here, so we got the salmon, some tuna, white fish, and then we're gonna fucking indulge. So we just finished the sushi. Now we're gonna leave to Akihabara, which is like the electric city. There's gonna be a lot of lights there. Get ready for it. Uh, goodbye, Mr. Tuna Head. It was nice seeing you. All right, so we made it to Akihabara. I'm probably butchering that. Never really vlog in low light times, but uh, this will be a nice little test for the camera. So if you guys can't see me, I'm extremely sorry. So I believe this is the Electric City. Those more. <laughs> So we're about to try some Kobe beef on a stick. Super rare. You only get that really in Japan. It's a legit way. Here we go. She's cooking it right now. Oh man. All right, so they say the Kobe beef is the best beef ever in the world. About to try it for the first time. Here we go. Uh, oh yeah. Yo, I never, I never had beef like this. It's so soft. I swear to God, I should kind of change my life. <laughs> try it, baby. Try it. Try it. Try it. Is that good? I'm not. I'm not fucking around, guys. It's just like hella soft. <laughs> you see that shit? Oh my God, it's so good. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I like melting it up. It's just legit. I was worth like the twelve dollars I just spent on that little stick, but I get it. I get it. I get why it's so expensive. Damn. You want some more, baby? I'll oh, you take another bite? <laughs> and it's gone. <laughs> I'll never see it again. <laughs> I'm not hungry. <laughs> Damn. Well, on that note, guys, I think I'm gonna end the vlog right here. Electric Town, it was okay. I'm still gonna try to find some Dragon Ball Z stuff, but until next time, guys, like, follow, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hey, you want to say goodbye to my vlog? Bye-bye. Bye-bye.
Bye from Tokyo. I'll catch you guys back to Okinawa. Bitch, bring it.